Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Swati Verma Styles. And in this video, we will discuss about the latest IRCC update that states that it will no longer accept ready to travel web forms from expired COPR holders. If you like this video, do like, share and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel to support. RCC states that it will contact expired COPR holders itself whenever they are authorized to travel to Canada. On 5th January 2021, a government press release stated that expired confirmation of permanent resident holders have been told not to use the web forms to get in touch with the Immigration Department. RCC's new update states that expired COPR holders who are prepared to travel to Canada must no longer be communicating with the department through the web form or processing office email. The snapshot is attached here. So this snapshot is from the IRCC website and it clearly states the applicants should not be contacting them. This dates back to July 2020 where IRCC requested expired COPR holders to utilize the web form to inform them if they were ready to travel to Canada. COPR is also like a landing paper and are allotted after an immigration applicant is approved as a permanent resident. These authorized PR just need to come to Canada and conclude the landing pro process. Whereas the current pandemic situation created a mess on individuals' plans to travel in the first few months when the coronavirus pandemic hit all of us. Though Canada's borders were still open to migrants who had COPRs approved before 18 March 2020, many migrants were unable to come to Canada because of reduction in the flights or any issues related to their home countries. During such time, many travelers' COPRs expired even before landing in Canada and foreign nationals were not able to land in Canada with their expired COPR documents. So, to solve this issue, RCC published a new process in July 2020 which let expired COPR holders to demand for an authorization letter to land in Canada. After they received the official letter, they could use it to board a flight to Canada and safely arrive in Canada. But due to the pandemic getting serious and lockdown happening in different stages, the ready-to-travel web form process, which was started in summer, could not be fruitful. IRCC did not commence sending out authorization letters until September 2020. By November 2020, IRCC contacted roughly about 6,000 out of the 10,000 web forms received and had delivered 500 authorization letters. Most of the expired COPR holders who did not get the approval letters got generic responses stating that their file was under process and it created a lot of confusion for them. With no timeline on when they would get hold of their authorization letter, numerous expired COPR holders were stuck as some had left their professions in their home country to relocate to Canada. IRCC had earlier communicated that the department had chosen to provide authorization letters independently rather than in groups because of the health and safety risks involved. Currently, an update from the IRCC is awaited on what needs to be done for people with expired COPR and who have not received the authorization letters. Thank you for watching this video. Do let me know if you have any concerns. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Bye-bye.